Yeah, so my role is really funny in this discussion because um, I have more in common with the activists than I do with any of the people in the companies. Okay, I mean, the, when I look across the activists and uh, realize how angry they are at me, we pretty much would align on every other political issue or social issue. There's almost no doubt about it. It's just this one thing where I can't get them to come over to, to my side in thinking. Um, and uh, it, it puts you in a rather funny position because here I am touting a technology that companies are using because it's a really good technology. The company's got it right. And they're, uh, they're developing and implementing a technology which can actually benefit many of the causes the activists hold very dear. Okay, so to me, I'm, I'm, I'm all about the environment. I think it's wonderful. And I think it's wonderful that we can generate products that decrease the amount of insecticide that's used because of the BT trait that's installed um, in the future coming up with plants that use less, have better utilization of fertilizers so that there's not as much run runoff or seepage into the groundwater. Um, plants which are more resistant to fungus and disease so that we can use fewer fungicides. Um, those plants exist and are growing in fields right now in all kinds of trials, um, decreasing the amount of uh, micro antimicrobial compounds that are needed. Um, so in reality, despite what they tell you, there are profound environmental impacts that can be obtained that are really beneficial and uh, really align with what the same activists that hate GM crops um, probably would hold pretty important.